met Coach Strong as, I guess it would be a senior, Notre Dame standards, you know, came in and I'm looking like this guy looks almost as young as I do. <laughs> He's gonna coach us, but very fast, uh, you know, really got to know him. Was always a guy that shot you straight. And I think as a player, you know, that's what you want. Coach Strong uh, and I met up at the University of Florida back in the late 80s, and he was our outside linebacker coach. And uh, we were number one defense in the nation, all those sort of things. And Charlie's guys led in lots of ways. He had a first round draft choice and second round draft choice playing for him and watching him manage those things. And he was there when I went there. So uh, he helped me ease into the system at Florida. And, uh, I just, you know, have never done anything but, you know, respect him from every way you possibly can from that point on. He's coached with some great coaches, he's learned from a lot of great coaches, had a lot of success as a coordinator, you know, won championships, you know, well thought of in the community as student athletes graduate. When you look at what he's done, uh, as Louisville 7-6 and six the first two years before putting together two 10-win seasons back-to-back. -back. Uh, it really speaks volumes that he knows how to win football games and not later but right away. And so you bring that to a place like Texas, you're coming in with a winning kind of uh, aura about you as a football coach. You get everybody believing that it's something that he can keep in his back pocket and pull out at any point. You have a proven winner that's arrived in Austin. Well, I've been very fortunate in this business and I've had a, a chance to work for some really outstanding coaches and at each stop you make, you're able to just gather a little more evidence because you, you want to store it in a bank and you want to make sure that at some point as I'm making that deposit, I'm going to get a return on that deposit. What you begin to learn is just how to put a football team together and just a total organization. I'd heard many positive things about him. I was looking for a defensive line coach. He was working for Coach Spurrier at the University of Florida. He came highly recommended. I sat down, visited with him. It didn't take long to visit with Charlie to realize that he's an individual I wanted on our staff. But I'm sitting at the University of Florida, very comfortable, and, and that's what happens a lot of times. You get comfortable in the, in the position you're in, and you don't want to make that move, but just having an opportunity to go work for Lou Holtz, and I learned so much, just, just how to carry yourself, just how to conduct yourself, and, and just a proper way to go be a football coach. He's a no-nonsense type guy. He's not one of these, uh, well, just let it all hang out. He, he has a plan, he works a plan, the players respond to him. When he was our defense coordinator at South Carolina and line coach at Notre Dame, he handled most problems before they ever got to my desk. And he handled them in a manner that he never criticized a performer, but always a performance. Charlie has great integrity, character, and honesty. And I always felt that the players were better off because they played for Charlie. They responded very well to him, both on the field and off the field as well. I think there's a, a huge part of humility about him. Charlie has stayed Charlie to me the whole way through. And uh, when your roots and your base is solid, that's generally how it works with guys like him. So to see him at the leadership of young men, it, I can't tell you how exciting that is for me. I think one thing as a head coach, to have success, uh, you can never come across as, as if you're better than your players. There are times, you know, in the game, for example, where, you know, things didn't go our way. We, we may have played horrible. Uh, you, you know, you like, okay, man, how's this guy going to come in next week? How's he going <laughs> to react? Is he going to throw us under the bus? Or, or is he, he going to do something different? And he did something different. He stood for us. He told us, hey, don't worry about it. You know, when another coach probably would act like he's losing his job, Coach Strong was just the opposite. It was like, hey, we're going to get this thing turned around. All we got to do is get back to our basics, our fundamentals. I think that even, you know, provides even more of a respect factor for me as a player uh, than anything else. He reminds me of my high school coach. He is about respect, um, you know, being an honorable man, being responsible for yourself and your teammates because you signed up to play on the team. And uh, those are the things that, you know, lead to wins. He's genuine and he's honest. We say he keeps it 100 with you all the time. That's a phrase we use all the time. He realized the issues they had here before he got here and he's, he's fixing them now. And I can see with all the stuff that he's making guys be accountable for. They quickly put together an impressive staff. Um, they got right to work. You know, he didn't spend a whole lot of time worrying about uh, 
what the office was going to look like, he got to the job right away. And uh, I think the reaction has been very positive so far. Coach Strong is a very uh, energetic, passionate uh, uh, football coach that, that loves the game. Uh, you can tell it in his eyes uh, when I first shook his hand. Guys that I didn't know that he knew called me up and said, man, that's a great guy. He's a guy that's, that's going to put it all out on the line. Uh, He's very passionate about what he does, loves kids. He's going to get the most uh, out of them, out of their potential. I got excited, you know, all over again, uh, uh, wishing I had a chance, uh, like these young guys, uh, uh, to play for a coach like uh, Coach Strong. You know, just to be here to support, you know, it's, that's what it's all about. Um, and, and wish all the success for Coach Strong on a new season. I had a chance to meet Coach Strong and, and, and everyone, and I see it seems like we're headed back to where we used to be. And um, that's, that's one of the, the visions that I see for the Longhorns, to get back to the top. He's very comfortable uh, around uh, uh, former players. Uh, he's a guy that can laugh, talk with you, talk football. Uh, he's, he's just like an old school uh, football coach, uh, but in a young man's body. So uh, he looks you right in the eye, tells you what, what he wants for this university. And uh, I think he's gonna get it done. My overall vibe when I met him was he's a ball coach. And uh, getting back to the basics, it was funny, I walked in on signing day and I asked him about, are you excited about today? And he answered about the 5.30 workouts that the current team is already going through. And so you can see he's really excited about, about being here and about coaching football. When a kid makes a, a, a decision to go to a school, that's a life decision. If I'm a parent, I mean, I feel comfortable when a coach tells me that, that hey, I'm not just coaching a kid just for the football, but I'm coaching them for life. And I really believe that's what Coach Strong is all about. He's about bringing young men in and he's coaching them for life skill situations. Well, I think Charlie's been committed to the entirety of the student uh, athlete experience. He's been very involved with their academics and making sure that the football team presents itself well on campus and in the classroom and at the same time gets its work done. Uh, I think all those things and that attention to detail is going to pay off with the positive results. As you get further removed from it and you're a former player, you see why certain things are done. And I think that's when you're even more grateful. Uh, having played for Jack Pardee uh, in college, you know, there wasn't a better role model. And I think that's what Charlie is to a lot of young men is he's a role model. And when it's firsthand and right in front of you each and every day, it's hard to fall short. He's been committed to the things that make you win and he always holds people responsible and accountable, those sort of things. And that's really in our society, uh, uh, it's besides the game of football that you play on this Saturday, you're, you're building tools for these young men's lives. And Charlie is giving them the tools that once football is over, which gets over pretty quick, you know, they start to understand it. He's giving them tools that they can really excel and grow in our society. It's the relationship. It's the relationship with young people. And, and you have a chance to just watch them develop and grow. And when you go into recruiting, you, you have a chance to just touch people from all walks of life. You know, you, you send, sometimes you think about them walking to a two-parent family where a young man has a lot. Then you have a chance to go walk into a single-parent family. And then you have a chance to sometimes you walk into a, a parent where there's no parent involved at all. But if you have a chance to touch someone else's life, then I think that's just the biggest thrill of coaching that you can ever have. Well, Vicky's a beautiful girl. She's from Gainesville, I think it was. She has two beautiful daughters. And Charlie's character, integrity, and his loyalty to his family it has never been questioned. He invited us over to his home, win or lose, after a game. You know, I, I saw him, you know, as a family guy, you know, first. And he didn't separate the two. He uh, involved his family with football. You know, it's, it's very rare that you sit and interview somebody with their wife and their daughters sitting there. But obviously, these jobs are tough and the whole family has to be into it if you're, if you're gonna do it. Um, and I think it sets the basis upon which you try to build the entire team around you, which is, uh, which is really a family if you're gonna be successful. I've talked to Charlie uh, a couple times since he's been to the University of Texas. And and he loves the situation. He thinks that's a great thing. But he also understands there's no place bigger than the University of Texas. I mean, there may be five jobs in the country, which are high-profile jobs, and he certainly has one of them. And he'll handle it very, very well. 
he's not going to reinvent the wheel. He's going to get players to play harder, that's for sure. And I think just the new coaching staff itself coming in and being a different environment, maybe a different way of maybe doing things on a daily basis uh, will certainly transcend the program and, and kind of put his stamp on it. He's excited uh, for the opportunity. He's a guy that's going to give it his all, and uh, I can't wait. I'm excited to see what he uh, what he has in store for the University of Texas. Players need to understand what he's all about, his philosophy, and understand that things are going to be different. He wants these guys to write their own chapter. He wants these guys to rewrite the, the history books and, and start their own, you know, destiny towards greatness. And uh, that's something that you just got to respect. And um, I'm all on board with it. Yeah, number one is commitment. Number two is uh, reliability. And number three is respect. Those are the things that, that I know he, that he'll carry into this program, and people will notice it fairly quick. I tell them, first of all, take their ankles because they're in for a wild ride. Number two, it's going to be the most rewarding thing they've done. And 10 years from now, they'll appreciate playing for Coach Strong and his staff. Charlie had a choice. He chose to be with them because he thinks they can do something great, and he will. He brings a lot of positive energy, and you know, any kind of worries or concerns I had about the program, within five minutes of talking to him, they were all gone, and they quickly transferred into excitement about what he's going to bring. And, and just to just talking to him and being a football guy, I know, I know what he's saying, and I know what he's talking about, and I can't wait to see it on the field.